Hey guys, my name is Anand and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about dynamic keyword insertion. So let's say you go on google.com and then you search for something and then you realize that the ad that you get to see has the exact same keywords that you search for. Well, there's a very high chance that that company or the business is using dynamic keyword insertion. So this is an example of what I mean by that. I was just searching for best SEO tool and SEMrush is showing an ad that has best SEO tool in the headline and then it also has, you know, the same keyword in the description. Um, well, I'm not 100% sure, but there's a very high chance that they are using dynamic keyword insertion. Um, so basically with dynamic keyword insertion, you can use the exact query that the user is searching for in the ad headline and the description itself. So here's how it, it works. So the way it works is when you are setting up your ad in Google AdWords, you need to um, you know, use this syntax that says keyword colon and then the default text. So um, in this case, um, we are using buy and then the keyword and then the default text is chocolate. So once you have added your syntax for DKI, you can start adding you know keywords in your ad group that will trigger this dynamic keyword insertion. So when when you add keywords like dark chocolate, sugar-free chocolate, um, you know chocolate truffles in your ad group, and if someone is searching for that exact keyword, then it will replace chocolate with the keyword that the person was searching for. So in this case, um, chocolate will be replaced by buy dark chocolate. Um, the next one is, let's say someone is searching for sugar-free chocolate because you have added sugar-free chocolate in your ad group, then um, your headline will look like buy sugar-free chocolate. The next example is, if someone is searching for gourmet chocolate truffles, then, um, you know, the reason you're getting to see only buy chocolate is um, this is going beyond the uh, limit, the text limit that you can use in the headline. And that's why it is reverting back to the default text. So I hope it makes sense like how dynamic keyword insertion works. Um, so basically you are trying to show an ad in real time and you're using the uh, exact query that the person was searching for in the ad uh, headline as well as in the description and it works really well because um, you are able to improve your click-through rate because uh, because the end user gets to see the exact um, words in the headline and the uh, description so he feels that he got what he was searching for and he will basically click on the ad and um, you you get your um, you know results whether it's getting traffic or uh, bringing them to your website and making them to fill out the form and basically it helps to improve your click-through rate and reduce the cost per acquisition um, and increase your return on investment uh, so that's your dynamic keyword insertion um, in short um, now I'm going to show you how exactly uh, you need to approach this concept and how to set up in AdWords. So uh, one thing to keep in mind guys is when you are using dynamic keyword insertion, um, your keyword and the and the setup of the dynamic keyword insertion uh, should make sense. So what I mean is, you know, um, it, it should all, you know, read um, properly in terms of grammar and the semantics. Um, so what you can you do is you can use a Google Sheet um, and um, you can start with your default headline. So in this case, my default headline is best um, SEO tools. That's my default headline. Um, and what I'm doing is I'm using keyword colon, um, the default text is SEO, and then tools. 
uh, and then what I will do is I will add these keywords in my ad group and anytime a person is going to search for keyword research um, it is going to um, activate dynamic keyword insertion and the ad will be shown as best keyword research tools I hope it makes sense because um, because the person was searching for keyword research and it's in my ad group so it's going to activate the DKI and it's going to replace SEO with keyword research so let's say another person is searching for keyword volume then um, the ad will look like best keyword volume tools again key, let's say someone else searches for keyword competition then the ad will look like best keyword competition tools best SEO checker tools best link checker tools best domain analysis tools but um, you know let's say someone is searching for um, SEO checker 2018 um, analysis you know let's say someone is using like a long tail keyword then even though you know um, I'm using a broad match modifier and those two keywords are in my ad group it won't activate dynamic keyword insertion because um, the headline will cross the character limit and the ad won't be displayed uh, it will just revert back to the default so it will show best SEO tools um, so that's your quick update and how you should approach um, I highly recommend you know creating like a, using an Excel file uh, to come up with you know uh, a syntax and um, a format of all the different keywords that you need to use and how the ad might look like for different variations that's your number one step the second step is always use you know exact match keywords uh, if you don't know what, what's the difference between exact match broad match and phrase match I have a video in my you know YouTube channel um, that is um, going to help you to understand all the different keyword match types uh, but I always recommend using exact match um, which is done by adding in like a square bracket square brackets uh, because exact match will um, make sure that your ads are triggered only on those keywords uh, but you can get a little bit flexible by adding a broad match modifier um, but I always recommend using exact match keywords in your ad group uh, when you're running a dynamic keyword insertion ad so yeah that's uh, how you can use next is I'm gonna show you how exactly you should set up in Google AdWords so once you log in uh, in your AdWords click on the plus icon hit new campaign and then um, I'm gonna select the campaign type as search um, you can use any of these objectives um, I'm gonna select website traffic and then give my business name um, so that's my website hit continue all right you can give your campaign name I'm gonna exclude display network I'll keep search network uh, you can select your country um, in terms of you can select the location as the United States or any other country that you want to target. Um, let's keep the language as English and then set the budget as let's say $5 a day. Bidding can be website clicks. Maximum cost per click $1. That's fine. I think this looks good. Um, I'm going to set up all the extensions later. I have a complete tutorial on different ad extensions so if you want to check out visit my uh, YouTube channel page and um, there is a separate tutorial on all the different ad extensions so I'm gonna skip this and then hit save and continue all right okay this is where you will start adding your keywords so I'm just gonna copy and paste it because we have already done this part okay some formatting issues over here all right I think it looks good and then hit save and continue okay this is where you will start creating your ads 
and so you can give provide your final website URL so I'm gonna just uh, drive my traffic to my blog because um, obviously my blog is about all the different SEO tools and a comparison so I'm tra I'm driving traffic to this landing page and this is where you will start creating your ad so the way you do is you're gonna use your first keyword and then use the curly brackets and as soon as you use a curly bracket you'll get three different options so use the first option keyword insertion and um, there's actually three different option you have title case sentence sentence case and lower case um, I like title case so basically when you use title case um, the K and the W is capitalized um, and that's how you know your um, text will be displayed in the ad as well um, so I will select title case hit apply Oh, the default text so uh, as I mentioned you need to add your default text so my default text is SEO alright so as you can see um, your ad will look like this uh, by default best SEO and then I'm gonna say tools headline is comparison and performance I don't know it's just a random headline I'm just giving um, so I think I'm happy with these three um, headlines you can actually use um, dynamic keyword insertion in each of these headlines but you know it will just look weird when you get to see the same keyword again and again in this in all the different headlines so I, I, I will just keep um, you know DKI in just one headline uh, next is you can add a path now as I mentioned you can use dynamic keyword insertion in your headline as well as in the description so you can say something like um, so what I'm doing is I'm just creating a template for description so look at this here's a complete tutorial and review on best um, dynamic keyword insertion tools so let's say someone is searching for keyword research then the description will read as here is a complete tutorial and review on best keyword research tools so it should you know read la properly like the gra grammar and the syntax should be correct um, that's one of the key you know um, requirement or um, important point to remember when you're using uh, DKI otherwise you know the sentence won't read properly and it will just look weird uh, and it won't look professional so make sure that you know you follow a template in an Excel file so that everything reads properly uh, alright I think I'm happy with description one I'm just gonna say visit website and download a coupon code for SEMrush something like this all right um, so that's how you know you can set up your dynamic keyword insertion ad and um, this just makes your life so easy because think about this you cannot create like 10 different ads for 10 different keywords um, just to improve your click-through rate um, with dynamic keyword insertion you are automating that task of um, making sure that uh, your keywords are um, inserted in real time in your ad so that you can improve the click-through rate and at the same time you know your ad looks much more professional uh, and it's going to convince your end user uh, because they feel that they got exactly what they were searching for because it's in the ad itself um, so it's one of the best ways to optimize your campaign and once you start improving your click-through rate remember your quality score is going to increase and um, you know for every point uh, in increase of your quality score 
your cost per acquisition is go down by 15 to 16 percent so that's a big improvement in terms of optimizing your campaign so with this strategy you are increasing your click-through rate you're decreasing your cost per click your quality score goes high and your cost per acquisition goes down so overall you know i think this is something that every brand and every business should use because um, it's just so easy to set up and um, it requires a little bit more work in terms of creating a template and finding out the right keywords um, and once you have that template going you can create multiple DKI ads um, targeting different theme of keywords uh, and um, just make your campaign perform much better now one thing to keep in mind if you combine dynamic keyword insertion with dynamic text replacement, then I think uh, you are at the top of the strategy funnel, I would say, because uh, dynamic text replacement is basically you replace the uh, text in your landing page in real time, and it's gonna pull in the keywords from the query parameters that is in the URL. So your ad is going to be consistent and your landing page text will also be consistent uh, based on what users searched for. So overall, I think um, it's the winning combination. So that's it guys for this video. Um, and you know, make sure to subscribe to my channel because I will post, I'm posting weekly digital marketing videos and strategy videos. So make sure to subscribe. And if you have any questions, let me know in the comment section. Any likes and comments are appreciated and I'll see you next time.